Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're gonna to be talking about body braille. So this is where we look at how the body is moving in space in relationship to the equipment. Now, I love this equipment. It brings this beautiful idea of geometric space around the body. So there's so many different ways the alignment of the body inside of these linear parts can tell you what the client is using or not using to do the exercise. So we're going to be doing SWAN. So the first place you want to look at is we have this box, uh, long box. So you want to see that your client is right in the middle of the box, that one leg isn't shifted to the right or left. And that's pretty easy to see um, when you compare the sides between the legs. So Jen's legs, I mean, are just a touch to the right, and actually it's just this left leg of hers. There we go, very nice. Her torso looks really beautiful here. Now, the hands on the bar. Again, another line for you to figure out how you can get your clients to line up. So what I'm seeing here with Jen's arms is this is a very nice alignment through this left side, but the right side, the elbow's winging out, so her hand is tilting in just a little too much. Yep, there you go, and drop the elbow a touch. Now, Jen, go ahead and just start pressing out and in with the arms. I want Jen to feel in her hands the heel of the thumb and first finger, and then bending in, good, and one more time for a warm up, find that heel of the thumb, excellent, and in. She's keeping her legs very nice here. You might see some people drop their feet, they might sway out to the side, so now Jen, go ahead and press out to straight arms, and then go out into your swan. And again, we get to look at her body on the box, bring this right leg in a touch, very good. And then go ahead, set yourself back down onto the box. And so once she starts getting into swan, I'm gonna move to the back of the reformer. Rest for a second, I'm gonna go back to the back. All right, good. Now, from this vantage point, I can see the whole line of Jen's body. Now, Jen, find your right side of your shoulder being attached to the ceiling a little bit more. Yes, and now coming up in the air from that right side of the multifidus as you go up into swan. So I saw that Jen's body was tilted this way because I walked in back, and here she is in her beautiful swan. Very good, and I want you to think about that right side multifidus is peering forward, widening, becoming puffy, yes as you go back down. And that has a lot to do with this left leg that we saw in the beginning where it wasn't quite lined up right. So think this leg is feeding into the right side multifidus for this last swan, using your breath to come up, keep feet, oh, there you go, Jen. That was a big change in alignment and it all came from that first cue that we saw from her body on the box and go ahead, bend the elbows in, and rest all the way down. Very nice, Jen, go ahead, shake that out. How did it feel when you got that leg integrated? Yeah, it felt really connected. Beautiful. So this is how you use the equipment as a framework to watch your clients move through space so you can have um, easier cueing and also more profound results. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon.